Um, okay, uh, I'll let me do is build, uh, uh, some of the, the comments you've made, and, uh, obviously, these are things that uh, don't come as any surprise, uh, not only because we've talked around at, the, at your table as well as uh, within uh, TriMet, but you can't help but read the news and see what's happening across the nation. Um, even the state economist uh, in the last uh, uh, few days uh, indicated that uh, although it appears that uh, the recession is, uh, has ended uh, and, uh, and we've been at bottom, um, he doesn't see any uh, real improvement in the job picture uh, through all of uh, 2010 and not seeing anything really within uh, until 11. Uh, and although there will be pockets, uh, uh, as he has indicated, that uh, might see some benefit, certainly things such as the construction industry and others are uh, have been particularly hard hit. Uh, uh, it's, it's probably valuable just to be able to put it a little bit in perspective because the last time we really have gone through a, a major recession in the early 2000, um, uh, 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 early part of the, of the century, um, we really were finding ourselves uh, as a region down about 30,000 jobs. At the lowest point in this uh, the current recession, um, this region was down 57,000 jobs. It's now at about 55,000. There have been some jobs that have been added back. So almost double the job loss that uh, that had been um, in the, that uh, recession in uh, uh, oh, now just almost a decade ago. Uh, and uh, uh, as uh, you pointed out, uh, President Pasador, uh, payroll tax uh, accounts for about 55% of all of our revenue, about 21% uh, off of the fare box. Uh, and obviously what we're seeing is with those reduced jobs that people are not riding uh, the system as much uh, because they're not going to jobs. I mean, I think that's uh, uh, it, it, it really the telling item. And it's uh, uh, particularly significant when you look at uh, the fact that our rush hour rides uh, are down by about 16%, uh, whereas bus ridership down about 10 uh, and about system-wide about 5%, partly because the green line on the rail side has, uh, has held that up. But it really does talk about the fact that those peak hour trips uh, uh, directly related to those job losses and the fact that that, uh, that, that is down. Um, if you recall, when we went through, and you touched a little bit on this, but I want to get through a little bit more precise on the on the numbers, we were really facing, in the current fiscal year, that is the one that began July 1st of uh, 2009, goes through June 30th of this year, uh, we were facing a $31 million budget uh, uh, shortfall. Um, we uh, utilized uh, uh, a certain amount of stimulus dollars that were available, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, ARRA, uh, dollars to offset about $7.2 million of that, meaning a, a, a total reduction of about $24 million we needed to, uh, uh, to find. And we went through a very uh, a, a, a arduous process. We had implemented a, a salary uh, and hiring freeze, and, um, layoffs, executive furloughs, uh, as a way to be able to address that. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, and finally, and as a last resort, came back to the issue around um, service. And you, uh, we went really through two rounds of that. Many of you attended uh, some of those public hearings uh, or uh, open houses we had uh, and really saw the, the, both the angst that had uh, our writers uh, were expressing during that, but I think also the creativity of our uh, service planning staff to be able to try to find ways Obviously, it's necessary to achieve the budget reductions, but to do it in ways that did not um, as adversely affect uh, uh, our riders. But this uh, budget, the one that begins July 1st of this uh, of this year of 2010 and goes through June 30th of uh, 2011, uh, we are seeing uh, um, a uh, $27 million uh, shortfall. It really is uh, comprised of uh, three principal uh, categories. One is uh, a $15 million reduction in payroll tax, from even what was a, what I think many people would have said a relatively pessimistic view that we had just last spring of where payroll taxes would be. Um, second, uh, uh, about $8 million down on passenger revenue. That really is a function of those uh, people who are not working and people who maybe even if, uh, if working, trying to be able to cut back on, uh, on any expense and not writing as much. Um, and then an approximately another 
uh, uh, four million dollars that uh, is just in uh, different elements of our budget, uh, uh, partly the contractual agreements that are a part of our labor contract uh, uh, in relationship to, uh, uh, to salaries. Um, all in all, uh, what we have seen is um, that uh, as we have focused principally on uh, administrative or non-direct service delivery, we have seen a, a reduction in our uh, management headcount of about uh, 10%. Um, on the union side, and by the way, it's not quite precise because obviously there are people that are uh, represented employees who are in our uh, accounting, payroll section, and other places. But mostly the direct delivery of service operators and mechanics um, are within those union ranks. Um, and we've seen about a 3.5% reduction there. We've been able to accomplish that this last year by attrition. That is the normal uh, turnover in our workforce. So there has not had to be any direct layoffs, though there have been positions that have been eliminated. People have bumped back into, uh, um, into other positions and uh, as a part of what is provided for within, the, uh, within our labor contract. Uh, as we face this coming year, uh, um, uh, we will do obviously our best, likewise, to be able to uh, hope that attrition will be able to balance uh, um, our uh, budget as we see additional service reductions and uh, therefore less need for uh, 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 provide, uh, providers of that direct service. Uh, in the current uh, budget, I indicated that we will be looking at um, a $27 million shortfall. Um, last year, when we applied the ARRA funds to offset the, a part of that $31 million, we really split the amount that we were doing because we didn't think we were going to be out of this recession into the next fiscal year. As a result, we held a, a, a similar amount, $7.2 million, to be able to be applied against uh, the uh, 2011 budget. That is reduced then that $27 million uh, shortfall uh, to approximately $20 million. We've now uh, done a number of other things to be able to uh, further reduce. And it's been across the board, the continued hiring freeze, uh, a series of other uh, cuts in non-service related activities. But ultimately, we are left with having to address um, service because that is about 85% of our budget is in direct service and um, you just can't get from uh, these kind of levels of reduction without touching service. Um, we are, uh, and what is uh, before us now, is approximately $8.7 million reduction on the service side. Uh, as we've looked at this, um, we really uh, used a criteria to be able to establish where we would look at within the service area. Um, first is that we looked at low ridership bus lines. That is, those lines that just were not really producing uh, uh, a level of ridership. And although, uh, again, the last thing we ever want to do is to be able to cut service. I mean, those of us in transit, to, you know, that's, the, that's what we're all about. Um, there just isn't any choice. So you look first at those low ridership. Second, um, you look at specific, not just the lines, that is, uh, you know, the 17 or the uh, the, the 57 or whatever, but you look at actual trips on that. Are there places that we are really seeing on individual trips uh, that the ridership is uh, relatively low? And we looked at that both on the bus side as well as on the MAC side, and you will see that some of our suggestions are in that area. Um, lastly, or next to last, pardon me, we also know that we don't want to strand people. So it's very important for us as our third criterion to be able to look, is there alternative service available? Maybe not quite as convenient, but is it still available? Does the, are there parallel roads uh, uh, still within walking distance to be able to provide for that uh, uh, additional uh, or alternative service, uh, or is there none? And then lastly, we want to be able to ensure that we have the least impact on our riders um, and really look at the available capacity on our buses. Uh, we don't want to be able to have buses or trains that uh, um, overcrowded. So it's not as if just cutting back uh, answers that question. We also looked at what our loads are on those vehicles and ensured that we really uh, were uh, having the least impact. <coughs>